All right, we're here at Inside the Music Biz on location at Drake Photography Studio. We have uh, with us Tom Hall, who is an attorney here in the state of Michigan, but his purpose and reason for being on the show is that he is an attorney turned actor. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah, uh, thank you very much, uh, Cornbread. I, I, it's a pleasure being here, and uh, and you're right on all counts. Um, uh, I think what they say about us lawyers is true. Uh, uh, there's there's a frustrated actor and performer in all of us, and uh, I certainly have some of this uh, sort of in uh, in my family, if you will. My sister uh, uh, Cheryl, uh, she did some modeling in a younger day, and I bet a lot of the folks uh, watching this or listening to it will remember the days of Kelly and Company oh, on TV, and. Yeah. Uh, of course, the Detroit Auto Show. My sister would be on TV quite a bit, either emceeing the uh, auto show or introducing the fall fashions on TV with Marilyn Turner. Uh, so she had quite a background in that, and uh, being uh, a little bit jealous of her, of course, uh, I had to grab some of that for myself. So I actually started off in sports casting before oh. going to law school. Okay, so now your your background in sports casting. I didn't know about that. Um, your background in law. What is your specialty, and what is it that you practice on a regular basis? I, I do pretty much and have done for my whole career medical malpractice defense and. Uh, uh, basically, the translation of that is uh, I am hired by the insurance companies to defend the doctors and hospitals when they are sued, okay. uh, and the healthcare providers in general, I should say. So it's a it's a busy line of work, very interesting, and uh, you come up against a, a lot of uh, uh, of worthy foes. Of course, one of whom is uh, also involved in this, Mike Gillard. He's a fine lawyer and a real gentleman. And uh, some of the other guys that I've met along the way, too, that uh, also have law degrees have been fun to work with. Uh, I know Roger Canzano is a, yes. a, a practicing lawyer as well. And, uh, and we had a physician or two on the movie that I was in, Fatal Brew, which okay. I got a big kick out of that. So uh, that segues perfectly what I was about to ask. How did you become a part of uh, Dragon Films' Fatal Brew? Yeah, essentially and primarily through Mike, uh, who I have uh, to thank to no end for that. I, I, when, when, the, when the filming was first coming about, uh, Mike came to me and he said, Hey, uh, Tom, uh, you know, we, we need a, a stiff guy who looks like he's a law-abiding citizen and uh, might, have, uh, might have a little bit of an edge to him, but I know what a ham and a hot dog you are, so uh, why don't you come out and meet Tom Henry and the other guys running the show and... Uh, Sure enough, I did, and uh, it's been great working with Tom. I'm, uh, I'm not saying that because he's standing 10 yeah. feet away. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and, and all the people that I've come to meet in the, in the sets and uh, the actors have been, uh, have been absolutely fabulous. It's and, been a great experience. And, and one of the things, again, about your performance is that I, I had not met you before the show, I mean, before the movie, working on the production of it, and I had thought you were an actor. So you came across very believable and very convincing in your role. What was your role in the movie? Well, you, you know, Cornbread, I, I'll answer that question squarely. I, I, play, uh, I play detective, uh, FBI director, Trent Lawson. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that I get credit for picking out the name and uh, throwing that toward Tom. Uh, it, sound, it sounded like a law man's name, I guess. All right, all right, all right. I need you all to listen to me right now. That's right. Now listen, I've never been Romano's boy. Never. I had him running the whole time. I got the video. I got him taking the money. We got everything we need. But we got to work as a team and you got to believe in me. If everybody can do that, we're going to take him down. Um, but yeah, I'm basically the, uh, uh, the, the force in the opposite direction, uh, if you will, of the guys that are... Uh, uh, operating the uh, the energy drink and uh, and kind of um, cutting some corners and doing it, and uh, I become aware of that. And uh, it's an interesting character, though. And Tom and I talked about this a lot, where he's he's kind of tortured, uh, like a lot of guys on either side of the law. He's dabbled a little bit into some things that maybe wouldn't be too kosher either. Okay. Uh, he's he's got some issues at home and whatnot. So. Uh, yeah, and at one point in time, they feel like they can they can give him a bribe and convince him to kind of look the other way, which is an interesting plot development too. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. A lot of ad living on the set too. How did you prepare for that? Well, you know, I, I think the, the the easiest way to answer that is it, not so much. It sounds trite to say we do it every day, but I I do know this much: when you're in front of a jury, uh, and guys like Mike and Roger and I have all tried cases. Uh, I've never tried one down in Wayne County, but several in Oakland and in other, uh, in, in other courts in this state. You have to be 
on it. You have, to, you have to look at that jury as I'm looking you in the eye right now and try to connect with them. You're, you have to try to, uh, to, to really put yourself in their place, say to yourself, well, they're only hearing this case that I've been living myself for the last two or three years. They're getting it for the first time. How can I teach them? How can I connect with them? And kind of make it understandable and palatable for them. It's, it, it is an art. Uh, yes. And you have to be able to think on your feet. And if I see people in the jury that I don't think are really reacting well to me or making a face like, oh boy, and rolling their eyes, I can't react to that. It's not like I can stop and say, well, hey, what's your problem, buddy? I mean, uh, uh, you're not feeling me? I can't do that. You have to be able to think and react on your feet and hope that they're getting the messages coming across. So with this be, was this your first film for film project or television project? Absolutely, uh, yeah, definitely my uh, my first foray into this. But but again, the one thing that that I think made it easier is the the experience dating back to my college years at Michigan State. I did some sports casting there, sure. and on the the University of Wisconsin, I was affiliated with the ABC uh, sports crew there before saying, you know what, I just want to get my degree and go that route. But okay. uh, it, once, once you've been in front of the camera uh, and, and see all sides of the production and, go, and what goes into it, I think it's far less intimidating. Uh, all of us uh, have had that, uh, that uh, probably experience where we've been asked to talk at a party or a wedding or a graduation, and the next thing you know, somebody's putting a microphone in front of you yeah. where you're holding on and you're kind of going, ah. I, I think with all the repetition and, and practicing in the past, a lot of that goes away. Okay. Now, one of the things, too, about your performance is that you were inducted in the Dragon Field Hall of Fame ha. for acting or supporting role. Uh, talk a little bit about that, please. Yeah, it was, it was fantastic. Uh, right down to the, uh, to the award itself, which is, to me, a dead ringer for the Oscars, <laughs> right down to the weight that were heavy to carry. Mm. And uh, that is displayed very proudly on the book cal uh, bookshelf, bookcase, right next to my desk at my office. Uh, it was, uh, again, it, it, was, it was great to come into this thing and, and have it sort of all um, call together. Everybody uh, knew their roles and understood what they wanted to do. And, uh, and, I, and I got that I wasn't the star, and that's okay. Mm. I wanted to do uh, the best job I could of highlighting kind of that angst that was going on between the law abiding and the law breaking. And I uh, had a lot of fun with it, not only... Uh, when, Go ahead. No, I'm going to say, did it surprise you in the fact that you, you were, when, when you were told that you were going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was, it was an honor, and it was a surprise. I mean, uh, I, uh, I, I remember commenting uh, on the phone and otherwise in person to, to Tom a couple of times that I thought that Roger Canzano was fantastic. I mean, we've all seen The Godfather, every one of us, right? <laughs> Uh, and some of the films like that that show the, the mob and some of those types of um, scenes. But I, I have to tell you, I think he had that character down to a T and played it very well. And frankly, made it very easy for somebody acting with him to respond to it. He's, he's intimidating. He's dismissive. He looks the part. Uh, he kind of acts like, uh, you know, he, if he's got use for you, he'll talk to you. Uh -huh. If he doesn't, he doesn't care. Uh, it, again, it's, it's not as easy as it looks, and uh, yeah. he pulled it off well, and, and being in a supporting role to him and to some of the others I've already mentioned, uh, it, was, it was a pleasure. It was a lot of fun. Now, is there any, I guess, future plans to continue acting, or was this a one-and-done type of situation? No, I, I to the contrary. Uh, I, uh, once a ham, always a ham. <laughs> I, uh, I hope to get involved with, uh, with the Dragon Films productions. The, uh, I know there's a, there's a movie that's being talked about and kind of... Debt and uh, Retribution. You bet. Yes. And, uh, and I uh, already put in my two cents to Tom uh, that, uh, hey, I, I want to be part of it. And Lord knows I didn't get killed off in the last one, so uh, I ought to be alive and well. But uh, I, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think it's a, a great deal of fun. Well, and, and then we're here on, on location, Drake Photography Studios, and we just had to get you here and answer a few questions regarding your role instead of having you come way down from Lansing to do it elsewhere in a normal place that we do it. So 
we're not going to hold you long on this, but I definitely had to have you on the show, Inside the Music Biz. Again, we thank you for coming down. Thank you for being on it. Any closing words or anyone we want to say shout well, out to? Yeah, you know what? I am. Thank you. I, I am coming from Lansing. That's true. But hey, I am. I'm a Detroit guy. Uh, love love the Lions, Tigers, Red Wings, Pistons. I'm a I'm a hometown guy that way. A big sports nut, of course. I'm giving that away. But uh, no, I uh, I love Detroit and I love what uh, what these guys are doing here. All of you and putting it together. I think it's great. And, uh, and it's given people a chance to get some exposure or might not, not otherwise get that. And uh, it's, it's brought it within their reach, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, uh, how many times have we all looked at a movie and said, geez, how did he get there? Yeah. How, how did she get started? Well, they got started just like uh, it's happening here. Okay, all right. And we again, thank you for coming down and wish you great success as, as an attorney as well as a future actor from further Dragon Field Productions. Thanks for having me, and uh, come watch the show, everyone.